What's up guys, Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com back with another Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're going to model a small house inside of Fusion 360 so I can kind of walk you through that process, what that looks like in case you find yourself in a situation where you need to model something like a house. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So one of the things you need to consider when creating something like a house model is the level of detail that you actually need. So in this situation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to model out just my perimeter walls. I'm going to model them up and then I'm going to model a roof on them. And then we may add a door and maybe a window, just something to give you kind of an idea of the workflow. Um, I have made a video that I will link to in the notes down below about framing um, or modeling a framed building as well. But for this, we're not going to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch like this. And I'm going to model out my floor plan. So I'm going to start by drawing a line. It's going to be 20 feet long. Then we'll say this is going to be, we'll call it 15 feet wide. And then we'll just use the rectangle tool. So I'm just going to tap the R key in order to create a rectangle right here. And so this is the first place where you need to think about your level of detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to model out this exterior wall with some thickness. However, you may not want to do that. You may just want to extrude this up if you're trying to make more of a block model or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to select these edges. So I'm just doing a shift click and then I'm gonna offset them in by the thickness of my wall. So we're gonna assume that our walls are gonna be something like six inches thick. So I'm just gonna type in negative six, hit the enter key. What that's done is that's given me a face around the outside and we can do another video in the future talking a little bit more about modeling the interior walls, but this is gonna give me my exterior walls. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on finish sketch and we're gonna use the extrude tool in order to extrude this face up. So you can see I can click on that face and I can extrude it up to whatever height that I want. So in this situation, for example, we're gonna say that this is gonna go up maybe 12 feet before our roof slope starts. That may be a little bit too tall, but we'll leave it for right now. And so what I wanna do now is I wanna model out um, basically the front and back pieces that my roof sits on because this isn't going to be flat this is going to have kind of a triangular piece coming off of the top and so there's a couple different ways that we can do that in this situation all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to create a sketch and align it with this front face and then I'm just going to um, use the midpoint here in order to draw a line up and so we're gonna say this is going to go up maybe um, we'll call it five feet so 60 inches and then I'm just gonna draw a line here I'm gonna draw a line here, and then I'm gonna use the trim tool in order to remove this piece right here. And I'm gonna click on finish sketch. And so what that's done is that's given me a piece that I can extrude in order to create this front piece right here. So we're just gonna extrude this, click on this face, and in this situation what I wanna do is I wanna use the extent function for two object. So when I click on two object, what I can do is I can just click on the back side of this wall. This will just add this to the back side of this wall. So you can see how it gives it the same thickness. And in this situation, I'm okay with using the join operation. It's going to basically join this piece in with this wall right here. So we're gonna click on okay. And so what that did is that gave us our front face. Now we just need to do the same thing with our back face. So we're just gonna create a sketch on the back side. And you could probably copy this across, but I don't really feel like there's quite enough work um, for that to be necessary. We're just gonna draw this in again. Um, we'll trim out this extra piece, click on finish sketch, and then we will extrude this to our object here as well. Leave it on join and click on OK. So now you have your front wall, your back wall, and your side walls. Notice that if you're creating like woodworking drawings or something like that, so if you're making like a birdhouse or something kind of like that, you might want to consider modeling each one of these walls out separately. Um, for this video, I'm not going to do that. Um, if you guys are interested, I can make a video on that kind of thing as well. But for right now, I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to create another sketch based on this face. And what I wanna do in this situation is I'm going to select these two edges and offset them out by whatever I think the thickness of my roof should be. So we'll go ahead and we'll call this, let's call it six inches for right now. And so now what I wanna do is I want to extend these edges until they're aligned with this line. And so the way that I'm gonna do that, or this point. So I'm just gonna use the line tool. I'm just gonna draw a line out here and we activate the line tool again. I'm just gonna draw a line across here as well. So basically what we've done, whoops, 
basically what we've done is we've just created a line across here. Well, now we can come up to our modify functions and look for the extend tool. What the extend tool is gonna do is that's gonna allow us to take an edge and extend it until it runs into something. So you can see how this extends until it intersects with this edge. We'll do the same thing over here. And then we can go ahead and we can trim out any extra that's beyond this line. One thing to note about this though is this created a face in here that runs across this whole thing. We don't necessarily want that, so we're just gonna come back in here with the line tool. We're just gonna add an edge here. We're gonna add an edge here. And what that did is that split this up into another face. So now, what we can do is we can extrude this. So we wanna take this, we wanna extrude it, and we want to set our extent to be two object. So on this back wall right here. So what that's done is that's extruded our roof all the way back. One thing to note about that is you want to make sure you create this as a new body. Don't select that as join because it'll just take your roof and just make it make this whole thing a singular piece. Make sure you're setting this as a singular body so that we can treat our roof differently in the future. And then we're going to click on OK. So one thing I want to do from this point is I want to give these a little bit of extension over the back. So I'm just going to extrude these a little more. And one thing you might want to think about doing is you might want to think about turning off your house body um, just so that these don't join together accidentally. So I'm just going to extrude this an additional, we'll call it six inches on the back side. And we're going to call it six inches on the front side. And then we can turn our house back on. So now what we have is we have our house down here, we have our roof, and we're ready to add things like doors. So what we need to do in order to add our door is we need to rough out the opening. So to rough out the opening, we just go back here, click on create sketch, and we're just gonna sketch on this face. And we're just gonna model our door out. And so I'm just going to draw an edge in here and we're gonna go ahead and say it's gonna start right here. And we're just gonna draw our door opening. So in this case, our door is gonna be eight feet tall. So we're just gonna do an eight and we'll make it seven feet tall. So we'll make it seven times 12. And we're gonna make it three feet wide. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just roughing out this opening size using my sketch. Then we're gonna click on finish sketch. And what we need to do now is we need to extrude this in to cut our hole for our door. So we can just click on the extrude tool, click on this face, and then click and drag this and notice this automatically goes into cut mode. We can click on okay. So what that does is that cuts our opening in the wall. Well, now we need to go back and we need to find that sketch. So we're going to go into sketch mode, turn this sketch back on, and we're going to use this in order to create our door frame. So to create our door frame, we're just going to right click on this sketch, click on edit sketch, and then we're going to go in and we're going to use the offset tool in order to offset this. And if you can, um, probably by not selecting chain selection, we want to select these three edges and offset them in by the thickness of our frame. So we'll say negative inch and a half for this. So what that's done, if you look at this, and we're gonna click on finish sketch, what that's done is that's given us the frame thickness inside of our model. So now I can use the extrude tool and I can set my extent to object on the back side and we can extrude this to the back side, but we wanna make sure we set this to new body because we want our frame to be different than our wall. And we're gonna click on okay. So what that's done is that's created our door frame inside of our model. So now we have a house, a roof, and a door frame. Well, now we need to come back in here and create our door. So we're just gonna use the extrude tool again, and we're just gonna extrude this face right here. And depending on how precise you wanna be, you can do different things with this. For me, I'm just gonna go down to my bottom view and I'm gonna set my display settings to orthographic so that I get a straight on view. And all I wanna do is I wanna extrude this back half the thickness of my wall. So I'm gonna say this is gonna be three inches and I'm gonna make sure to set this as a new body. And we're gonna click on okay. So what that's done is that's created our door. So now if we look at our building, we have our building itself, we have our door and we have our frame. So now we wanna do the same thing on the side for our window and maybe we'll model a window on the front first. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in and I'm just gonna continue this by drawing a sketch on this front face. So I'm gonna um, create my window now by clicking on create sketch. Let's go to this front face and for me, I'm just going to draw an edge 
off of this. Um, I don't want to mess around with too much of the other stuff. I'm just going to draw an edge right here that creates my gap. So we'll say it's going to be a 48 inch gap. Then we'll draw our window frame. So we'll just say this is going to be uh, 60 is probably too much. We'll call it 48 inches. We'll just draw a rectangle that's going to be 48 by 48. So four foot by four foot. So and then if you want to edit the gap between these, you can just come in here and you can just adjust this width. So we'll call this 36 inches. And notice how because um, notice how this will adjust dynamically. So you can come back in after the fact and adjust this. But now what I want to do is I just want to finish my sketch and cut my opening. So I'm just going to click and select this face. And we'll just use the extrude tool to cut this opening. And so notice I'm getting the flashing in here. That's because this is trying to figure out which one of these faces I'm trying to select. I'm just going to turn off all of the sketch planes except this last one. And then I'm just going to right click in here and we're going to edit this. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to offset this in. So same way we did before, except this time we'll click chain selection. We'll select all of these and we'll offset them in by negative an inch and a half. Click on finish sketch. What that's going to allow us to do is we can just create our frame like we did before. So we'll select this, we'll do a two object, and click on this back face. You could also just type in a value of six inches, and then make sure to create this as a new body, and click on OK. So now we're just going to create our glass pane real quick. So we'll just extrude this, click on this face, and we're going to use the two sides so that we can uh, model this out with some thickness. You don't necessarily need to do this, but um, I'm going to drag this first one back, set it to a value of three inches, and we're gonna make sure to set this to be a new body. And then our other value, we're gonna extrude back to negative two inches, or maybe negative two and a half. That'll give us a half inch piece of glass, which even that is probably a little bit thick, but that's okay. And then we're gonna click on okay. So what that's done is that's create, created this kind of recessed window look inside of Fusion 360. And so you could come around here and do the same thing on the side. I don't know that I'm necessarily going to do that in this video, but that's kind of basically how you can model out. So that should give you a pretty good idea of how you can model out a house inside of Fusion 360. Now we could do some other things as well. Like uh, if we wanted to, we could um, do a search by tapping the S key. Then I'm going to type in physical material. And I'm going to add a wood material to my door. So maybe this cherry material. And you can also adjust your material by going up to the mo modify function. You can click on either appearance or physical material. But I'm going to go ahead and drag the glass material onto my glass body so we can see through that. And so I don't want to get too far into the weeds on this, but we want to apply different colors to these faces. So the way that we need to do that is because those aren't found in our library, we're just going to go to Manage Materials. And I'm just going to click on Create New. I'm going to do a new generic material. That's going to allow me to create a new material, and I'm just going to call this something like white. We'll go ahead and click on this white color and click on OK. We'll click on apply. And so I've also done the same thing with my roof. I've created a gray color for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this. And then we'll go back into modify appearance. And the custom materials that you created, the custom color should show up under your favorites. I'm just gonna drag the gray in here for my roof and the white in here for my walls. So that's kind of a high level overview of a way you could create a house inside of Fusion 360. So um, for the next part of this video, I can do whatever you guys want. I can go through and I can create a floor plan view with this, with the plans. Um, we could create a more complex interior. Uh, just uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see, what you'd like to learn from this, and also what you thought about this tutorial. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Fusion 360 content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.